Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a plan with me in my pocket bullet journal. This is the Loistrum notebook and I think they call it the pocket or A6 size. Um, I haven't featured this notebook on my channel in quite a while just because I haven't been too inspired by it. But then towards the end of February, I just suddenly felt like picking it back up again and I have been really, really enjoying it. Um, mostly because I've been doing a lot of just paperwork and technical work and I stopped designing and doodling for a while and as an artist that just didn't really sit well with me and I was itching to doodle. So I basically started this format where I split the page into two columns. On the left side, I doodle everything about my day, and then on the right side, I do a little bit of color coding and block in my hours. I do my color coding very simply. I just have one color for work and then another color for personal things. Um, and this is definitely not a functional, traditional bullet journal spread. In fact, I think this is pretty much the antithesis of a functional bullet journal spread, um, but I have really been enjoying it and a lot of the times actually, the sticker designs that I sell in my shop originate from random doodles that I make in my own personal journals and planners and they are inspired by real life events. So I do find that things like this really helps with just being creative with the shop as well. The schedule portion is actually pretty useful for me because it just gives me an overview of how I want to spend my day without going into too much detail. Um, and if you're wondering why certain blocks are shaded in while others are just boxed off, it's because even though um, I am working for so many hours, uh, it's different types of work. So I have a regular work where I just sit at my computer and do any like paperwork and admin work. Um, I also have a walking work, which is when I work while walking on the walking pad. And then I also have design work, which I kind of tune everything out and do my creative process. Similarly, for personal things, I might block off two hours for personal time, but maybe one of those hours is for cleaning the house and then the other hour is like reading. So even though it's personal, it's different things. So that is why I kind of distinguish that by shading it in and also just blocking it off. So for Monday's doodles, it was a very rainy day, so I started off by doodling a rain cloud. Um, and this entire week, I, I'm i still injured. Initially, I hurt my hamstrings, and then right after my hamstrings healed, I got a stress fracture in my left foot. And I will be honest, I really do struggle with kind of taking a break from exercise because it is one of the ways that I mentally and physically relieve a lot of stress and anxiety. And because I have so much stress and anxiety, I tend to overexercise. And because I overexercised, I now need to take a break and yeah, I, I find it kind of ironic. Anyways, this week I did try to push through the pain, but then it kind of got worse. So now I'm officially not running and not doing any like intensive exercise. That is lovely. I hope um, it heals soon. Um, I also doodled a little book because I made a photo book for my nephew um, I have been obsessed with making iced coffee at home and I also confirmed something very exciting on Monday which has been revealed now so I can talk about it. Basically, in August, there is going to be a stationary festival in New York City and I was invited to go and initially I was going to say no because it is the day after my birthday which I which is when I typically host one of our largest sales of the year. And 
um, they also invited me to be a vendor, so to sell my products at the show. And I don't know, it, it's just, it sounds like a lot of work and stress to me. However, I thought about it and I think if I skipped out on it just due to my personal fears, then I in the future would regret it. So I said yes, I committed. And yeah, if you are going to the Stationery Fest in New York, then I will definitely see you there. I will also try to vlog the experience and upload it onto YouTube. I also doodled a logo of the grocery store I went to. This one is a little bit further away, so I only go like once a month or once every other month, and it's always an exciting time. I love grocery shopping. Um, I also doodled a working emoji and I read a little bit on my e-reader. I doodled an OMG shocked emoji, which I cannot remember what I was shocked by. I think it was something personal, otherwise I would have like written more about it, but now I can't even remember. So there's that. Um, anyways, moving on to Tuesday. I once again blocked off my schedule and oh also I changed up the color for every day so for example Monday yellow was personal and then on Tuesday yellow didn't even make an experience yellow didn't even make an appearance um so yeah I just wanted to do something super bright and colorful in hopes that spring will come okay so Tuesday I went to the gym Probably should not have gone, but I went anyways, so I drew a barbell emoji, made some coffee, did a lot of paperwork, had to pay a bunch of invoices, which um, obviously I don't like paying for things, but I have a lot of invoices to pay because I committed a bunch of fun products for the rest of the year, so I'm really excited about that, of course. And then later in the day, I made my new favorite snack, which is I basically slice a banana in half. I spread on a layer of peanut butter, and then I drizzle on some melted dark chocolate, sprinkle on some sea salt, and then put it in the freezer. And then a few hours later, it's like the most perfect crunchy, almost ice cream-like dessert. It's super refreshing and I have a feeling I will be eating that all spring and summer. Anyways, um, I doodled this large laptop along with like some um, speech bubbles and envelopes. I think I was working on a lot of like emails and um, boring stuff to be honest. And then I drew an emoji with the sun because the sun finally started coming out this week, which I'm super excited about. Um, I also doodled an oatmeal thing, this emoji who is looking for something. There's like a magnifying glass. Again, I don't know why I doodle these things. Um, and then I also filmed a video, so I drew in a filming slate. Okay, so this is where I kind of have to apologize. On my right arm, there is a wound that is healing. And I tried to remember to wear long sleeves so it wouldn't be on camera, but then it was super hot, so I forgot. But basically, a few, I think it's been a few weeks, I was baking something and I accidentally burned myself. And it was healing okay. However, I forgot about the wound and I started scratching my arm and yeah I just completely scratched off the the skin okay this is kind of gross um and then I realized too late that there's a wound there so now it is taking forever to heal and it's probably going to scar because of that and then literally the next day, I fell down the stairs. It was just like the last few steps, so it wasn't too bad. But then I scraped my elbow. So I don't know, guys, my, my entire body is like breaking down. And to kind of go along with my bad luck, on Wednesday, I accidentally slept through my alarm. So I put down this adorable pillow sticker from Fox and Cactus and also this like kind of stress emoji. I, I have a pretty 
strict morning routine so just like a few minutes kind of sets me back that set up a big part of my day so um, that was one of the first things that I doodled on Wednesday we recently had the anniversary sale and around that time I typically don't do a lot of design work um, it's a lot of like doing listings and just managing the sale inventory um, arranging for pre-orders stuff like that but we are i think two weeks a little under two weeks out from the sale and most admin work has been um, taken care of so it's just like fulfilling the orders which um, i have staff to help me with that so I am finally back to designing and I am so excited. I have already finalized the themes and actually three of the washi tapes for the birthday sale in August, which I think this is like very, very early for me, um, but it feels good to be ahead. And also since I committed to the stationery fest in August, I will likely do some sort of merchandise for that and I'm just doing some brainstorming. Also, I have the July to December monthly kits coming out, um, I think in May, so just wrapping up stuff for that as well. So a lot of big and fun projects and just in general, I, I love designing so much and anytime I get to design, I am so happy. So it has been a pretty good week. Okay, also on Wednesday, I was very excited because my new fidget toy came in the mail. Uh, this is my first fidget toy that I got for myself. It is called Ono, so it's O-N-O. -O. And I got it because I was hoping that it would help me with stress and focusing. And I think it's been helping a lot. Um, I'm actually like fidgeting with it right now and i just stick it in my pocket and it's been great so very excited about that um i also filmed a quick doodle tutorial on how to doodle florals which was the bonus video prior to this one and then i spent the evening listening to some podcasts while walking and working okay and then for thursday i accidentally lost the first part of the clip so that is why we just jumped straight into the second half but yeah um thursday was a lot of cleaning and it was also pi day so i drew the pi sign and apparently i had an existential crisis number four so yeah um that is basically it for this video i know it's again not like a super functional planner spread but hopefully it inspires you to doodle more um thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week bye